it's a sad day uh, for Cincinnati. Um, I was hoping to work out an exit deal with the manager, but obviously that uh, has faltered. The mayor stands behind his calls to oust the city manager. Nine on your side was the only station to bring that to you on air as it happened. And Tom McKee talked to city manager Harry Black as Cranley made these comments. Tom. Well, both sides seemingly right now have drawn strong lines in the sand and unless something changes, we're at an impasse right now. Now, the mayor says that Harry Black, he's warned him about his behavior for some time and has not improved. And the manager says John Cranley is trying to be a very strong mayor in what is a city manager form of government. I believe that the manager uh, needs to separate uh, from city service based on a pattern of behavior uh, over several years that has been uh, abusive and uh, in some cases retaliatory um, and uh, threatening. My response to that is that it's unfortunate and it's disappointing uh, and it is uh, reckless, uh, but not surprising. Uh, last week he threatened me with the ultimatum to either leave or he was going to build a case up against me. I am very worried uh, that a number of employees right now, between now and the process, will suffer from retaliation. The mayor wants to be a strong mayor. I'm in the way. The city charter is what it is. If people don't like the current structure, they need to take the necessary steps to change the form of government. There are many good things uh, have happened uh, under uh, Mr. Back's leadership, but the pattern of behavior that repeats itself continually uh, is, is, is too just too much. But how can one accuse someone else of the very behaviors that they exhibit on a regular basis themselves? Now, this is going to take several weeks to play out, and the mayor is looking for some sort of space, safe space, where employees who want to tell their stories could do so without fear of retaliation. The manager says he's staying on the job, he's doing the job that he was appointed to do, and he's not going anywhere while this process plays out. Tom McKee, Nine on Your Side, live at Cincinnati City Hall. All right, Tom, thank you. And Nine on Your Side is committed to holding your government officials, of course, accountable. Highlighted in the mayor's case against the city manager, several items the Nine on Your Side brought you first, and in some cases, reported exclusively. Like our investigation into the Center for Closing the Health Gap, WCPO reporter Paula Christian had trouble getting city documents, and that stuck with the mayor. For example, uh, Paula Christian has asked for a contract from Center for Closing the Health Cat contract and can't get a public copy of a draft that has been issued. Our reporting, which began in March of 2017, exactly a year ago, in fact, was a partnership with IT reporter Hillary Lake and Amanda Seitz. And Cranley also spoke about this. I think everyone knows that he has made uh, angry late night calls to people. Twice we have reported on this just yesterday. We told you exclusively that Black made a late night phone call to the mayor just last week. Yeah, not on your side. Also reported November after police union president Dan Hills presented us with a nighttime phone call from Black. Listen. Dan, Dan, please don't me, okay? It's 10 minutes of basically threatening to throw the police department under the bus, so to speak. And Mayor Cranley also mentioned he has been keeping track of issues. Take a listen to this. I want to take the time to have a full and comprehensive uh, picture uh, that I can present to council with substantiation uh, and notes over several years and to allow uh, several city employees and citizens the freedom and the protection to come forward. Well, Tom McKee brought that information to you yesterday from Councilman Wendell Young. He's compiling a list of all the transgressions that Harry Black has been involved in. He's going to bring that to council and uh, get us to go along with him to dismiss the manager. 